When the most romantic day of the year rolls around, you don't want to be stuck snuggling up to watch something you totally hate. So don't worry, we got you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movies you and your girlfriend will both enjoy on Valentine's Day. Then you gotta take it up a notch, but you don't want to blow your wad, so then you gotta cool it off a notch. There are a lot of rules. If you like this video, then you'll love the original content over at our sister channel, Miss Mojo, your source for all things pop culture, celebrity, and entertainment. For this list, we're looking at romantic movies that everyone can get down with. Number 10, There's Something About Mary. Mary? Is that, that's it, it is you. Who is that? Hi, it's Ted. Ted? Yeah, Ted from Rhode Island, Ted. While this movie has been designated as a romantic comedy, if you've seen it, you'll know that it veers more towards gross-out humor than anything else. While there is a love story running through it, you won't find anything sappy or saccharine here. Ben Stiller plays Ted, a guy who is hellbent on being with his high school sweetheart, the titular Mary, no matter the cost. <laughs> hey, what are you doing tonight? Do you think maybe you want to maybe, I don't know, go out to dinner, you know, catch up on old times? This is a great pick if you'd rather be laughing than crying on Valentine's Day. It'll make you wonder why they just don't seem to make movies like this anymore. You know, maybe you should just like move down here and marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, 500 Days of Summer. Do you like me? Most romantic films seem to offer the female perspective on relationships, but this movie turns that trope on its head and shows us what it's like for the guys. Not only is the protagonist a dupe, but the style of the movie is much more interesting and experimental than your standard rom-com, offering up a non-linear timeline and fantasy sequences to mix things up a little. Smith? I love the Smiths. Sorry? I said I love the Smiths. And Summerfin may seem like your stereotypical manic pixie dream girl, but the writers delve deeper into character to show what's underneath all the whimsy. Number eight, Chasing Amy. Well, 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 if it isn't Blunt Man himself, or, or should I call you Chronic? A romantic comedy by Kevin Smith? Sign us up. The creator of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back and Mallrats wrote and directed Chasing Amy, which tells the story of a guy who falls for a lesbian. Why girls? Why men? While watching it more than two decades after its release may make you notice some of the more dated or objectionable aspects of the narrative, it's important to remember that times were quite different in 1997. This movie still stands up as one of the funniest and most compelling films of the decade. If this is a crush, I don't think I can take it if the real thing ever happened. Number seven, Jerry Maguire. I love you. You? Complete me. This movie had us at hello. It completes us. Okay, sorry, we had to. Seriously though, Jerry Maguire pretty much has it all. Along with giving us some of the most iconic lines in the history of film, it has sports, drama, romance, and an adorably precocious child actress stealing the show. Tom Cruise stars as the titular character, a sports agent who breaks out to start his own agency, bringing a co-worker along with him. I will go with you. Its five Academy Award nominations should be enough to tell you that it's worth another viewing, even if you've already seen it. You had me at hello. Number six, When Harry Met Sally. You realize, of course, that we could never be friends. Why not? One of the defining films of the romantic comedy genre, this classic is essential viewing for anyone interested in film. When Harry Met Sally poses the age-old question, can men and women ever just be friends? And answers it with a hilarious series of twists and turns that brings its two leads together. It is so nice when you can sit with someone and not have to talk. Hmm? Both Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan are at the top of their comedic games, and even almost 30 years after its release, this movie is as charming as ever. You'll get to see the origin of so many rom-com tropes here, which have gone on to be repeated time and time again. Are we becoming friends now? Well, yeah. Number five, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Show me which constellations you're in. Jim Carrey may be better known for his over-the-top comedic roles, but this romantic drama is a standout in his career. While Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind may not have been a hit upon release, despite winning the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay, it has become a cult classic because of its unique storytelling method and creative concept. Joel and Clementine are lovers who decide to undergo a procedure to erase each other from their memories. The story is bittersweet and has much more meat to it than your typical romantic fare. You did run away after all. I just needed to see you. Number four, The Princess Bride. Oh, my sweet Wesley, what have I done? 
One of the surefire ways to pick a good romantic comedy that even guys will love is by opting for one that leans more towards the comedy than the romance. 1987's The Princess Bride is one iconic example of this, offering viewers plenty of laughs, with the romance acting as the driving plot behind the action. Well, one thing I will say, this one certainly does keep you on your toes. Wesley's attempts to woo Buttercup will give you guys all the lovey-dovey feelings you want for Valentine's Day, but you won't be able to keep from laughing at the character's antics throughout. An absolute modern classic. I'll never doubt again. There will never be a Number three, Love Actually. You have this kind of problem? Yeah, of course you did, you saucy mings. Even though it's a Christmas movie, this charming British rom-com can be appreciated year-round. With so many intertwining storylines to choose from, there's something for everyone in Love Actually. With some of the romances being more dramatic and some being more lighthearted, this movie takes you on a roller coaster of emotions from start to finish. This is definitely one of the most typical romantic comedies on our list today, but you don't have to be female to have your heart swell up when that little kid runs through the airport to tell his crush how he feels. Aww. I thought you didn't know my name. Of course I do. Number two, Crazy Stupid Love. Still wanna take me home? Yeah. As one of the more modern picks on our list, it's possible you don't know much about this movie, except for the clip from the trailer where Emma Stone tells Ryan Gosling he looks photoshopped. Seriously? It's like you're photoshopped! While that scene is great and all, this film has a lot more going for it, and focuses even more on the men in the story than the women. What do you want to do with me? Oh, I want to show you off to my ex-wife and make her really jealous. Interestingly, the romance isn't at the center of this film. Rather, it's the relationship between Gosling's Jacob and his newfound protege Cal, played by Steve Carell. The talent is off the charts in this one, and the cast alone should be enough to convince you to watch it. Um, Would you put on some clothes, please? Oh, I'm sorry, is this bothering you? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. All my instincts, they return. The grand facade, so soon will burn. Everybody's got a thing. I love you. You know, I loathe you. I, I love you. <laughs> Number one, Titanic. I will never let go, Jack. This ain't exactly an under the radar indie flick, but bear with us on this one. Odds are you've already seen Titanic, possibly multiple times. Is it really worth a rewatch on Valentine's Day? If it has been a decade or more since you've seen it, we suggest you give it another shot. This historical drama may be remembered as a romance, but holding the record for most Oscars won by a movie, tied with Ben Hur and Lord of the Rings The Return of the King, there's a lot more going on here than a simple love story. Why did you do that? Why? You jump high, jump right. If nothing else, seeing Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in the roles that made their careers is a reason to watch. We're never letting go of this one. I'm flying. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.